Hey everybody, it is your AP Biology teacher, Mr. Poser. Today we are continuing our seventh unit on natural selection by starting with topic 7.8, continuing evolution. All right, and this will be a short one too. We gotta, we gotta drive one point home here and then we'll be good um, for this topic. Okay, so um, check it out. Here's a picture if you, you've probably seen it before. Um, if you Google it, um, if you're, or excuse me, if you just Google evolution, chances are you'll see some variation of this picture, okay, where you got the monkey, and then you got another monkey, and then you got something that looks like a human, then something else that looks like a human, and then you got the actual human with the spear. Um, so this is, a, this is a very, very, very common depiction of evolution, and you can see it everywhere as so long as you Google evolution. Um, I have some issues with this picture. Okay? I have two main issues with this picture. So if you can guess what they are, maybe pause the video and try to figure it out for yourself at this time. Um, I have two problems with it. Maybe you already know what they are, but uh, here they come. Ready? Number one, my problem with this picture, and I'm going to talk about continuing evolution here. Uh, it suggests that, you know, it, it permeates the idea that humans evolved from monkeys, which is not true. We share a co common mammalian ancestor. There was one species that eventually diverged into both of our different species. Um, well, all the different species of, of primates and, uh, and monkeys, okay? Um, so common ancestry is the answer here. It's not like, oh, all of a sudden, you know, this monkey became another monkey and this monkey became another monkey. And eventually a monkey birthed a human. Um, it doesn't work like that. Uh, you share a common ancestor. Okay, and another thing is that, you know, it suggests that evolution is done. We want evolution. We're the best human beings. Yes, we're so evolved. Um, yes, we're the best. <laughs> and, you know, evolution is done. We finished it because we're so smart and amazing at everything. That's not true. Evolution continues and it will always continue so long as there's living things and that there's a changing environment. Okay? So we want to just really, really, really drive the point home here that evolution is not stopping. It is ongoing and it will continue indefinitely so long as there are living things and so long as there's Earth. Earth changes constantly thanks to surface processes, thanks to our intervention, thanks to plate tectonics, thanks to um, things that are completely beyond our control, weather, climate. Evolution is going to continue. Organisms will continue to change their gene pool in response to the environment. Um, so long as there's living things, okay? Because we are, we are, well, we are very well adjusted to our modern world as human beings does not mean that we aren't still evolving. The human population is still evolving and it will continue to evolve um, because that's, that's how it goes. You know, microevolution is going to occur. Every generation is going to have different, uh, a different gene pool than the previous one. We're not in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. That's never going to happen. Um, and evolution is going to continue, okay? And if we give ourselves, if we give life another couple hundred million years, then we're going to see some drastic changes in life on Earth. It'll continue to evolve, and it's never going to stop, okay? So we want to, you know, we want to really, really drive home the point that evolution isn't done, no matter what, okay? It's not even just in humans, all right? Fossil records show continuous change over millions of years, Okay, and there's no indication that it's going to stop anytime soon. All right, so just to, just to point out here, you know, I don't really know what this has to do with continuing evolution, but, you know, as we can see, like, these are three extinct shark species, and this is a uh, great white shark. Oh, here's our megalodon, right? But it's just showing that by studying the fossil record, species change over time and evolve into new species. Um, and this is our friend over here, Tiktaalik. Okay, which is the, which is the, well, this is an artist depiction of um, the first tetrapod, okay? So the first organism, the first, um, I should say, animal besides insects that were able to, you know, take gulps of air and use the oxygen in the air um, rather than the oxygen in the water and is able to, you know, eventually get up onto land. Um, so we have a fossil of Tiktaalik, a huge transitional species in the evolution of tetrapods. Um, you know, it be, this is a transition between fish and amphibians, which is a huge, huge thing. Um, 
Yeah, and from species like this, transitional species, we can show that evolution is going to continue to happen um, for as long as we have living things. All right, that's what I wanted to get before I start repeating myself anymore. Let's wrap this up. Uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Bye.